Now here we have a little 90% uh, furnace, sealed combustion, and we have a little problem with this thing. See if you can figure out what actually is happening, what's causing the problem when this thing does not work properly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fire this thing off. Now you can see our hot surface igniter is on. Now when I take this cover and put it there, it goes out. Do it again. Now in order to understand this thing, we're going to have to understand how this pressure switch works. Now I've probably talked to most of you guys before about the pressure switches for sealed combustion appliances. The, there's a pressure tap that goes to the combustion chamber and there's a pressure tap that usually goes either, either to the inducer or to the secondary heat exchanger. I've set up the manometer so one side taps the combustion chamber I've just put T's in the line. I'm not going to show you all the piping because it's different for every furnace. And I've also tapped secondary heat exchanger. So the secondary heat exchanger, because it's influenced by the inducer, should have a higher vacuum than the combustion chamber. So let's take a look at what we've got right now. I'm running about 1.5 inches water column. Now, let's take this cover off again. Now you can see that number's went way up and the hot surface igniter is going to come on pretty soon because it may. You can tell it by looking at the control board and see if it's flashing a coat. Okay, so it's going to start now. You see your hot surface igniter is on. Okay, the burners have come on, so you know everything is actually working. But, is it a problem? in the combustion air pipe, because essentially I've bypassed the combustion air pipe when I've taken this off. Is it possible that's what's happened? Or could there be something else? So, what's the problem? Why will it work with the cover off, but it won't work with the cover on?